Many years ago, I wanted to put a roof on my house, and I wasn't going to pay anybody to do it. I was going to do it myself. And somebody said to me, you can't put a roof on the house by yourself. I said, don't tell me what I can't do. So I go to the hardware store, the lumber place, and I told the man I wanted some shingles, gave him the dimensions of the roof, told him what color I wanted. And he said, for $30, we will deliver them to your house. I said, no, I ain't paying no $30. Put them in the trunk of my car. And the man said, lady, we can't put all them shingles in the trunk of your car. So I gave him the $30, and he delivered the shingles to the house. They were nice. They put them up on the roof for me. So when the person who came by told me that I can't, I was up there putting the roof on the house. Coley, our text this morning comes from Hebrews, the 11th chapter. <laughs> now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God so that what is seen was made from things not visible. And then we turn over into the 12th chapter of the book of Hebrews, and it says in verse 1, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You know, I wonder how I would have felt if my name was Sarah. And my husband Abram comes in and says, we got to move, sugar. And I would look at him and go, move where? And he says, the Lord has told me to get up and go from the land of my father to a land that he is sending me. And I would have probably said, you mean you don't know where we're going? And you want me to pack up all these camels and donkeys and servants and all this stuff? And you don't know where we're going? I ain't going. Abram would have said to her, but honey, if God said it, we'll do it because I have faith in God. And then Sarah would have packed up everything and would have gone with Abram and would have realized the promise that God would make of them a great nation. When Yoshebed heard that the king was killing all little people because he was afraid of this king that everybody was talking about, Yoshebed could have sat down and put her head in her hands and just start crying, woe is me, woe is me. I just had this baby. We just named him Moses. I don't know what I am going to do. But instead, Yoshebed trusted. She hadn't been told about God. All she had were the Egyptians, God, but she trusted in a power that was greater than herself and laid her baby in the river so that he would be saved, that he might deliver God's people from bondage in Egypt. Even old Samson, when he went to Mr. Lila's barbershop to get a haircut, realized that he had done wrong in the sight of God and that God was somehow going to work on it. That's what God needs to do with us today. Work on us so that our faith will be made stronger in what God can do. The things that you and I don't see, God has already seen. The things that you and I don't know, God already knows. The things that you and I can't do, God has already equipped us 
to do it if we have faith. Amen. Amen. Now, when we started out at the end of last year, we needed $19,000 to pay our conference apportionment. I jumped all over that office when Lisa came in and said, we got it. And just dropped another $650 in the plate. We got it. How did we do it, church? By faith. Faith in the God who is over everything and each one of us. Now, we, we, we took our Saturday night bath. Y'all remember Saturday night baths, don't you? My brother won't take one on Wednesday. He'll wait to Saturday. <laughs> and, and for some of you young people, Joshua and Brandon, on Saturday night, we take a bath in a tin tub. Some of y'all might remember that before we had indoor plumbing. And Mama would use a big cake of octagon soap. It was a soap about the color of this furniture. And it would get the dirt off of anything. I mean, she used it for everything. And boy, when we came out, we were squeaky clean. If you were the first one in the tub. <laughs> now, if you number four going in the tub, <laughs> you had a problem. Because she didn't change no water. Mm-mm, this water good. Get in here. We took the bath last night, hoping we would wake up this morning. And it was only by faith that we slept through the night. Faith in a God who would watch over us and keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Faith that God would touch us this morning with his finger of love and would awaken us to behold yet another day. It is by faith that you and I have come into God's house to give him thanks for all that he has done and, and to get something to take us through the rest of the week. Something to take us through the beginning of 2015. Something that will enable us to know that there is a God and we feel like going on. You see, my brothers and sisters, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Oh, I'm sure you could sit here and name those persons who came through St. Matthew's or maybe the church where you came from or the church of your, your birth. You could name them old sisters. Oh, I could call the roll of those old sisters and brothers who had faith that God would see them through. Those old saints who had faith that the church would go on. Those old sisters and brothers who believed that there was goodness in everybody. Those old sisters and brothers who had faith that the world would turn. Those old sisters and brothers who believe that there is indeed a love of life, even though we may be young and restless. Those old sisters and brothers who now rest from their labors and surround us are expecting us to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. So be it. 